Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever experienced your car's engine running rough or the temperature gauge acting up? If so, you might be dealing with a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor. In this video, we'll dive into the symptoms, causes, and solutions for a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. The ECT sensor measures the temperature of the coolant in the engine's cooling system and relays that information to the engine control module. With this data, the ECU can adjust various engine parameters, such as fuel injection and ignition timing, to maintain optimal performance. This means that if the engine's temperature is too low from the desired range, the engine will run rich, and the ECU injects more fuel to produce more heat during combustion. If the engine's temperature is too high, the engine runs lean, and the ECU injects less fuel to prevent the engine from overheating. Now, if the engine coolant temperature sensor becomes faulty, you might notice your engine idling roughly or even stalling intermittently. This is because the ECU is receiving incorrect temperature readings, causing it to miscalculate the air-fuel mixture. Additionally, you could face difficulty starting your car, especially when the engine is warm, as the ECM might be pumping too much or too little fuel. Speaking of fuel, a faulty coolant temperature sensor can also lead to poor gas mileage and increased emissions. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can cause the ECU to miscalculate the air-fuel ratio, leading to an engine that runs either too rich or too lean. Both conditions can result in poor fuel efficiency and increased emissions, as the engine isn't burning fuel optimally. Due to inefficient combustion, the engine doesn't produce the desired power for the same amount of fuel, so you need to push hard against the gas pedal to send signals to the ECU to produce more fuel. Another telltale sign is fluctuations in your temperature gauge. You might see abnormally high or low temperature readings or even the gauge dropping to the bottom. This is a clear indication that something's not right with the ECT sensor. And let's not forget about the check engine light. If you see it illuminated, it could be due to diagnostic trouble codes related to the engine coolant temperature sensor, such as P0115, P0116, P0117, P0119, or P2185. A faulty ECT sensor can also cause issues with your cooling system. You might notice that the engine cooling fans aren't turning on or cycling properly, or that the thermostat isn't opening or closing correctly. One common culprit of a faulty ECT sensor is wiring issues. Damaged or corroded wiring, or loose or disconnected connectors, can prevent the sensor from sending accurate readings to the ECM. Of course, the ECT sensor itself could be faulty due to physical damage, contamination, or simply wear and tear over time. But hold on, it doesn't stop there. Other related component failures, such as a faulty thermostat and coolant leaks, can also contribute to the problem. So, how do you diagnose and fix this issue? Well, first things first, you'll want to check for diagnostic trouble codes using an OBD2 scanner. This can give you a good starting point. Locating the ECT sensor can be a bit of a challenge. It's typically located near the thermostat housing or on the cylinder head, but the exact location varies from vehicle to vehicle. For instance, some models of Honda Civic have two engine coolant temperature sensors, but you have to check the one located closest to the cylinder head. Now, an important point to note coolant temperature sensors are resistors and cannot be reset. They provide information to the engine control unit. Engine coolant temperature sensors are variable resistors with one or two wiring connections. The ECT sensors are calibrated for resistance at 0 and 100 degrees Celsius. Their resistance ranges from 100 ohms to 35,000 ohms, which varies based on the temperature. To test the ECT sensor, put it in hot and cold water and measure its resistance at different temperatures using a multimeter. Also, make sure to verify that the sensor ground and reference voltage are correct. Compare those resistance values to the specifications in your service manual. If the ECT sensor is malfunctioning, it needs to be replaced rather than reset. It's always a good idea to perform some coolant system maintenance while you're at it. Flush and refill the coolant and consider replacing related components like the thermostat. After replacing the engine coolant temperature sensor, the check engine light should reset itself after a certain number of start and stop cycles if the temperature sensor was the original problem. So you don't need to manually clear trouble codes using an OBD2 scan tool. If you need a more detailed explanation or want to check out my article on this topic, I've left the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to channel for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching.